Hello, hello, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XI, which should probably be me streaming instead of doing a Let's Play, since I guess, like, in some sort of strange way, Let's Plays, like, they're kind of like recorded streams, more or less, right? Like, just with no audience until after the fact. But wait, did our mastery rank go up? Wow, oh, we're mastery rank four, how about that? I thought he was only three. Don't know what we did to earn that, but we did. Anyway, uh, today uh, I am drunk on plum wine. And uh, that's Giki Kai Can plum wine. And I've been watching my buddy, uh, Apathetic AJ, do some. Uh, hides your battlefields. And, uh... Oh. Yeah, he goes through this same issue as well. Uh, the instance server, it actually only allows for three instances of the same instance. Or, well, and by the same instance, I mean the same battlefield, right? So this... This, uh, iron gate here, I don't remember if it only goes to the Omega battlefield or not. I think it it's also links to the Tenzin high tier battlefield, as well as the Chains of Promathia mission battlefields. And either way, uh, there can only exist three instances of the same battlefield. That's the way the Final Fantasy XI uh, instance servers are set up. And that's because it is an old game, and using, well, I think nowadays it's on the cloud. But, you know, they used to have physical servers that were once in danger due to the, uh, what was it, 2009 tsunami that, uh, you know, killed like 250,000 people worldwide or something like that and uh, caused the uh, Fukushima Daiichi uh, meltdown. And that tsunami actually almost took out Final Fantasy XI. Um, if you played back then, you would know but basically the game's servers were actually housed in a place that was affected and I don't remember if it was affected by the Fukushima Daiichi meltdown or if it was just the tsunami in general but either way the Final Fantasy XI servers were in jeopardy and they had to be moved and the game had to be shut down and they apologized for it and I think if I remember right they gave everyone a free month of game time. Um, and when they did that, um, you know, us addicts, us Final Fantasy XI addicts, you know, we all had our different ways of dealing with it. A lot of people went off and played other games. Some people finally quit for good. Other people just opted to go to the forums and complain. And by the forums, I mean the Final Fantasy XI Auction House forums. And I myself had been poking around the Final Fantasy XI Auction House forums for years. Uh, I love those forums, and uh, they... I don't know why I'm using Koro more if he's just gonna convert at the wrong time and get himself killed. But uh those forums, they really they'd always interested me. Like there it was other people that I'd never met inside of Eleven playing and talking about Eleven. And one thing the internet has always been good at is talking about a game in a way that makes it sound like you, the reader, you know, do not know anything about the game, right? Like, you, the reader, you know, you didn't have the autistic, like, dedication it takes to learn all of the game code and memorize all of the game code and memorize every single map or every single encounter or every single instance, every single possibility of every single iteration of every single permutation of every single, you know, possibility 
and so you're not good at the game and you suck, right? And, uh, you know, you go read those forums, and even just by reading them, right, like just reading them and picking up on the concepts people are actually talking around, uh, you get better at the game. And of course, you have to put up with insufferable personalities to do that, but, uh, you know, if, if, you, if you could roll the punches, right, which was just the internet back then, right? Like, the internet in the early 2000s and the 90s and such, especially the 90s, you know, it, it's the Wild West, right? Like, you can't fucking, like, you don't, you just go there and you hear people spout off their opinions and their troll moves. And, uh, you know, you just, you just go at it. And, and you get called faggot, like, 500 times, and it's all good. But, uh, yeah, 2009, I think it was 2009, I don't think it was 2010, uh, you know, big tsunami happens, worldwide news, you know, uh, killed hundreds of thousands of people, and, you know, it's just one of those things. Oh man, I'm dying like crazy, huh? Why don't you heal me, my bureau? What the hell? Oh dear, I'm gonna die. I should not have picked difficult. AJ is making this look all easy with his, uh... Drain threes that give him like 5,000 HP. But, uh... The, uh... Oh boy. Okay, the buzz has slowed down. <laughs> I told you I was drunk on Storm Wine, so. Oh, nope. Okay, I'm too used to my warrior macro set. Please heal me. Ouch. I should have set occultation. I am a dumbass. Maybe we can do sudden lunge and do the old. Okay, we could if you could stop beating my ass and stunning me with... It's in stun overlaps? Jesus Christ! Okay, you get stunned. Go away. Stop it. Cut it out. I should have subbed Dragoon or something. Because, uh... I need Arcane Elven to, uh, get in on this. just the first half of the fight, too. Awful, awful, awful. Maybe I should have come Warrior. Warrior would do a lot more damage. The Master levels and all. That Pile Pitch is actually a Throat Stab that does, deals 90%. Or I believe it's 90% of your HP as damage, so... Yeah, be careful about that. I am not sober enough to actually be doing this. It's a good thing it's old content, though. Like, at this point, this high tier battlefield, I think, has been out since, like... Oh, I don't know. Fucking... 2015? Oh, please don't kill me. Ah. Hey, Jay, you made it look so easy. Yeah, honestly, I just don't know what to spin my merits on exactly. Um, I could do more Alexander because I didn't get the Sacro Cape. But uh, the Cape is honestly not worth the effort because you could just make an Ambuscade Cape for whatever job you desired that Cape for. That would be ten times better. Even if it was only, like, the singular type of cape that you could make through ambuscade. But, uh, 
Battle Champ. Ah, oh, that's probably why I died. See, I've been playing Warrior too long, and I actually, since I use such simplistic macros, I'm so used to just like having my TP, my weapon skill, and my damage taken set, and I just boop, 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 all night long, while my Savage Blades do, you know, crazy damage, and then, you know, I go home. But, uh, yeah, not today. Not today, apparently. Not on Blue Mage. Not on my pathetic Blue Mage that I barely know how to play. Oh, look at that hot elven. And malignant wood. But yeah, like, so we're doing this let's play, and it's a let's play that could, you know, it could have just ended, right? I could have just stopped it. And that probably would have been the smart thing to do. Because, uh, you know, you've heard me whine and whine and ask you and ask you to tell me what you want to see. And literally someone who wasn't subscribed to me, who just watches every now and then, was like, Do side quests, bro. And then subscribed to me once I mentioned them in the next video. And then I didn't do any side quests. Actually, no, I did some side quests, but I don't think I did, you know... I, like, I really wish that person would just tell me, hey, you go do this side quest. It's not that I like being told what to do, it's just that being told what to do makes things so easy. <laughs> uh, and I think everyone appreciates when things are easy. You know, life is hard enough as is, right? And I feel like a lot of younger people, you know, like, the people who are scared of turning 30 right now. Uh, they... Don't like making decisions. I've noticed it in my fiance. She really, really hates making decisions of any kind, even if they're minor. And this was also something that a guy I knew in the Navy did not like to do and he was only like a few years younger than me maybe like two or three years younger than me and also a giant he was six foot four and he hated making decisions of any kind so much that he would ruminate on them for you know a quarter of an hour at a time for something as small as like which color socks should I wear today? Right? And keep in mind, he was not dumb. He was smarter intellectually than me. By like a good bit. And he just... But he, he could not make decisions. And it boggled the mind. I don't know what all these people are doing here for these particular battlefields. I would assume people would be doing other battlefields, but maybe these have the highest reward ratio. But, you know, you'd think if you can't get in, you can't even attempt it, so, you know, what gives? Maybe we just, instead of trying to get in, we go ahead and fix our spell list for, for trying this, because... That was kind of embarrassing, how badly, we, like, we just got pooped. And it was not good. Okay, we don't need a tomb right now. We're not killing anything. We're not sleeping anything. Uh, that I like for the sheer amount of strength. Um, Let's see, now where is... Let's see... This. Occultation. Occultation is an ins extraordinarily great thing to have. Uh, what else could we put on to help ourselves out? 
barrier tusks functions like a uh, like a phalanx it might be helpful if I remember right both of these monsters that we're we're fighting in here they both are susceptible to slow I don't know if embalming earth has a more potent slow than filamented hold I would assume that it would, and the strength would help our Savage Blade damage out. Uh, we could give it a try. Like, there's no harm, right? Okay. And then... Beyond that, we don't have very many points. Without rearranging the other spells. Now... Actinic Burst has Auto Refresh for us, but so does Plasma Charge. I don't think we need Actinic Burst because we're not like we're not doing AOEs right now. So let's see. Attack down could be pretty influential. Hmm. Hmm. Corrosive ooze. It weakens attack and defense. Hmm. Hmm. Now this from a Beastmaster pet at 99. If I if I know. My jobs. At 99, a Beastmaster's uh, slug pet can do that. And it has no magic accuracy check. So it just goes unresisted every time on monsters for its full duration. And uh, it's incredibly awesome. But from Blue Mage, I'd have to imagine that it's not nearly as good. Demoralizing Roar, on the other hand, I am not sure about at all, as far as its attack down goes. Let's just grab Corrosive Ooze and have a ball. If we can ever get in, that is. And the reason I'm doing this is, well, one, it was just, I was watching Apathetic AJ do it. He does it on normal on his Dark Knight with his Apocalypse, and his, like, 5,000 HP that he gets from his Drain 3, so he just kind of, like, cruises through slowly, but surely. And I say slowly, but I think he does each fight in, like, five minutes or something. Um, now, we just tried it on difficult, and we didn't even beat Omega. But, uh... These, they, like, I think these are people just trying to do the story. Oh yeah, they're in Mr. Happy's second LS. Oh, and the first LS. That's interesting. I haven't heard anyone talk. But you okay? You would think though that if if yeah, you know, like they can't get in, right? Because like I said, of the server instances, then like neither should any of these other people. Like okay, so what? What is so appealing about the high tier battlefields that are right here for this event? Like I know the. Um, the later additions to the high tier battlefield system, the Lady Lilith, Alexander, Odin, Shinryu fights, uh, those were all later additions to the high tier battlefield, and uh, they're not affected by this event, supposedly. Um, they weren't listed on the events affected. But you would think, like, 
with such congestion right here, these these fuckers, like that fucker with the, uh, well, I don't know if that's the red mage or the blue mage one, but that Dynamis Divergent Sword, that Taru Taru right there with the green hat, you think he'd fucking go somewhere else. Um... If we don't get in within like the next two minutes though, I'm just gonna leave. I don't wanna get in the way of these people that are just trying to get through the story. Uh, they deserve to get through the story if they're actually here playing 11. And uh, I don't wanna get in their way just to try to emulate Apathetic AJ here. But I, I was curious if I could get the earring he's after on difficult or something. Uh, I will say that with these older high tier battlefields, uh, I believe if you do them on difficult or very difficult, it opens up another drop slot. And I believe you are guaranteed at least one drop. And uh, it's not always going to be the drop you want still. But since you're guaranteed a drop, if you can beat the fight on difficult or very difficult, you can essentially guarantee that you eventually get what you're after. Oh! We're getting in? 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 We getting in? We getting in? We getting in to die again? Come on, let's go. Let's go. No, oh, no. Hilarious. Oh, but they disappeared. Okay, so they. No, okay. Wait, wait, wait. One of them got in, maybe. Maybe not. This congestion is terrible. Get in there, red mage. Yay, they get in. Okay, so they got in. They deserve to get in. I'm glad I was slow. They deserve to get in. Okay. We'll give it another another two minutes. Sounds like we thought we got in, but then we didn't get in. And then we were happy that the people trying 11 for the first time got in. I always love seeing newbies in 11 nowadays. Um, there is a lot of adversity you face when you play this game uh, as, a, as a newcomer these days. Uh, and I say that I don't mean that like the player base is just going to reject you outright. But like, when I say, I guess when I say adversity, I just mean like, it's not going to hold your hand and other people probably aren't going to come help you as much as you would think they would from what people describe online. Like, a lot of times you'll go read and the people will say, well, every time I need help with the story mission, someone was willing to help me. But in my experience, that is not the case. Uh, I have, more often than not, in Mr. Happy's own Discord, seen people ask for help and then not get any. Or not get any for several days. And, uh, it's sad. Oh. 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 Ooh. Plum lines it, kind of. Woo. Ha. He. Okay, so... Let's see. We pulled out Koromoru last time. I'm pretty sure he got killed by converting at the wrong time. So let's just bring King of Hearts, because King of Hearts has a chalkin' lot of HP. And... Joachim could be a safety blanket, uh, but we don't need March, because we're Blue Mage with uh, Mighty Guard. And uh, I think we'd be better served by killing faster, so let's bring Coltada for Chaos Roll. Hopefully this time we don't fuck it up and die. I guess we could try to like... Well, obviously we, we switched our spell setup a bit. We, um... We set all cultation for one. And that's gonna be... I think with our blue magic skill level that's gonna be eight shadows. 
And they're blink shadows, so they don't happen back to back, but every hit we block from this thing will be major, considering last time I saw it critical hit us for 800 damage. And I guess we'll try to debuff it with Embalming Earth and Corrosive Ooze, and see if that helps. Maybe we can spam Sudden Lunge to keep it stunned. Uh, maybe... Parachute, maybe Clown Care. And I'm thinking this time I might, uh... I might give Unbridled Wisdom a go to put Turbillion on. But maybe we save that for the second half of this fight since we still have to fight uh, Ultima. Could you not? Like, I didn't even engage yet, dude. Savage Blade. That takes a good chunk of the uh, HP there. Oh, but it's resetting in Mitty. Right. Do something that just like wipes occultation. It's pretty annoying if so. But also par for the course for an 11 monster. You know, I said I was going to try to debuff it, and then I just didn't. I'm too warrior brain. Yeah, back in the day, this is this airship fight. Uh, no picnic. And, uh... Did you stop? As I remember it, the, the procedure for beating it uh, as the story mission fight back in the day, when it was capped at level 60, was uh, basically you would bring two ninjas, a bard, a red mage, and then like a white mage, and then a damage dealing job. And if possible, you would have the damage dealing job try to stun uh, Omega as many times as possible. It's like, he didn't get his... Uh, his TP moves nearly this fast, but... You know, every hit was like a big, big deal, and then he could do Pile Pitch, which, if you notice, Pile Pitch just throat stabbed me down. But the occultation shadows were not wiped by it. Same deal with Yutsu Simi. Uh, okay, so we actually beat Omega this time. How about that? And we did lose Mombiro. He killed Mombiro. Oh boy, we might have to wait a minute to get Mombiro back. Mombiro, please. Mombiro, who I've given plenty of donations to. And back in the day, Omega was like the wall, and Ultima was like just as hard, but if you could beat Omega, you know, then Ultima was not gonna give you a as hard of a time. That's how it felt anyway. Yeah, let's see. I don't know if we have to do burst affinity to land these extra effects from the spell, but we'll give it a try, right? There's no harm in trying, right? Ooh, that was, that was spicy. We would probably completely destroy these on Warrior, by the way. But I just felt like being Blue Mage because I'm lazy. And, uh, literally I was like 10 minutes away from finishing the Apathetic AJ video I was watching. 
And I was like, no, I've got to record. I've got to do this too. And uh, then I thought to myself, yeah, the, the alcohol has definitely kicked in. <laughs> it's definitely kicked in. Dude, Ultima is like a fucking kitty cat compared to... Uh, to Omega. Like, I'm taking this guy for a ride. Right, we probably won't even have to use uh, unbridled wisdom. Let's see what happens if we. Uh... No, we're not going to be able to match it first, but whatever. Dude, Ultima is a kitty cat! Like, wow. No, oh, Equalizer wiped my shadow. What a slut. Ah, oh, damn, that slow is potent. We're not getting Occultation anytime again. Fight will be over by the time we get another Occultation. I guess we could have subbed Ninja. If we sub Ninja, I guess we would have... Oh, he's got slow and LG on me. He's got maximum slow going on me right now. I remember back in the days, uh, I used to run Limbus. Once the level cap was broken, I ran Limbus with my ex-girlfriend and her fiancé. <laughs> I hate saying that. Uh, I was the other guy, okay? And I've said, I've told that story before, but that's who he was. He was her fiance at some point, until she decided she was in love with me. And then he became just the guy she lived with. And then, later on, her fiance again. And then they got married. <sighs> but then she still wanted to have a relationship with me, so she was like... You know, let's be in a relationship, but he doesn't want to be poly. And I was like, I don't want to be poly either, because I don't believe in that shit. I was like, can't you just be with me? And she was like, Ooh. Oh look, we didn't get the earring that AJ was after. But that's okay. We got a terminal helm, which is probably not that great. Let's see. It's for all the heavy damage dealers. It's got 7 haste. That's nice. Magic damage minus 5%. That's nice. Uh, magic defense minus plus 2. Nothing to write home about. Magic evasion 37. Definitely nothing to write home about. Magic attack bonus and magic damage plus 15. Ranged accuracy plus 23. Huh. Well, it's not exactly... It's not exactly Shakespeare, but... We could do a funny lock style for the rest of the video, I suppose. Womp. All your base are belong to us. Or maybe we're more like RoboCop now? I don't know. I actually saw a lock style based around this. Uh, some paladin at some point when I was bazaar shopping. And uh, he it he really did look a lot like a basically human version of Omega. And I loved it. We'll, 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 we'll sil Yeah, we will sillily... Sil sillily? Yeah. We will be silly and wear it for the rest of the video. Uh, it looks atrocious, by the way. Yeah, I should check out what Dooflotch it's after. Okay, so 
the event that's going on right now, like look where my cursor is on the left side of the screen, uh, that boulder box, right? That's basically a box that gives like some large amount of Riftborn boulders. Okay, it just gave us 20 Riftborn boulders, right? You get one of those or a Batetsu box or a um, Pluton box. Uh, possibly also the cases for doing any of the old high tier battlefield, I guess. And uh, you know, as you can see, you know, it's not really that hard to beat, even difficult. You just gotta have a little bit of thought put into your your fight process. And so, um, yeah, that, that could be something we do. I want to look up this earring though that he was after because he's after this earring and he's just like I can't get it I've killed this fight like 30 times and I just want to know what that earring is I think it's for his drain set but uh, all I know about the high tier battlefield gear is that a lot of it looks cool and a lot of it looks like it might be kind of good but most of it is just kind of garbage okay so he's look he's trying to get the sessants earring okay oh he's after the earring that's uh okay so it's accuracy plus six double attack plus three store tp plus three so it's like a decent tp phase earring um Cause that's the only earring I'm seeing from this. Unless I missed something. Also drops the consummation torque. It's like a summoner torque basically. I don't know if it's any good or not. I like know nothing about summoner gear. I don't know what's considered the best. Okay, there's a shield you can get that has spell interruption right down. But it's basically only usable by mage jobs. There's a hefty amount of magic attack bonus. So a terminal plate. Not really that. Okay. I'm sure at one point in time this stuff was like, oh my god, you gotta have it. But for me, nah. But I was thinking. Hey, you know, there is some weird stuff from Heiser Battlefields that I do still kind of want. And, uh, what better than to spend an hour recording just trying to get that stuff? Because, at this point, the Let's Play is do whatever the fuck we want, right? And, uh, hey, you know. I need something to spend my merits on. And like I said earlier, uh, I only the only thing I don't have from the Alexander one is the cape. And I do kind of want to just go ahead and get the cape because it's usable by like six or seven jobs. And uh, I always really like gear that can be used by lots of jobs. And I don't know if this is near Boneyard Gully or not. I guess we'll find out. Uh, surely this... Is this just the start of the zone? Like... Am I not remembering where the zone point's at? Okay, so... <sighs> it's kind of silly. But there is a piece of gear we can get from fighting the Mithrin Sin Trackers high tier battlefield. And I don't know how strong they are. I've never fought their high tier battlefield. And that's, I guess, one of the reasons why I'll do this, right? You could kind of count this as side quests of sorts. Like, it's not really a quest, but I mean, it is. It's stuff the game has for you to do. It's. The item level versions of these fights, so. Why not? 
Why not? Okay, so... Oh, we could do Tango with the Tracker. I don't... I don't know if we would be level restricted for that or not. That's like related to a, another side quest, I'm pretty sure, that we've never done, that we unlocked in Tabnasian Safehold. You know, like, while we're here, why not, why not just, like, step in and see if we're level synced or not? Because if we're not level synced, we'll just f fucking destroy it and walk out and be able to turn that quest in wherever we... What kept you, sugar plum? There's no roses to smell on the way. You've got some nerve keeping a sin hunter waiting. You've only been waiting, like, fucking two years or something, right? <laughs> this is what happens when you fool around with written challenges. But it gets people in the mood for the final confrontation. <laughs> I was more worried that the adventurer wouldn't be able to read your terrible handwriting. Okay. So basically... They want to see if we're worthy of Shikari Z's, uh... Oh, we can't use Trust Magic. Oh no! We're boned! Not really. It's like a level 75 quest. If anything, they're boned. They're boned in the extreme. I doubt we're even going to have to, like, try. Because it, it's... This is a level 75 version of the Mythic Tracker fight, more or less. And it's Shikari X and Shikari Y. And they're souped up level 75 versions of themselves. And I don't know why I never tried to show it off before. Probably because I never did it. But back in the day, this is how you would... Oh, look at that eagle up there. There's a fucking eagle up there. Look at that. It's a fucking eagle. It's a bald eagle. What the fuck? Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, I never did it back in the day, but this is where you would get X's knife from. And, uh... Obviously, we are at item level, so we don't give a flying fuck. We're not going to be able to see what they would have been able to do, but more or less, it's a missing tracker fight from Chains of Promathia, just without Shikari Z involved at all. But, you know, everything that you think would happen, that they would have, is uh, what they would have, right? Like, she's a ninja slash beast slash thief, and the other one's a dark knight slash samurai slash something else. Uh, they've both got thigh gaps that are as wide as the Pacific Ocean. Not bad, honeybee. Okay, well, do we get any drops or rewards? Oh, snap, they're fighter sexual. Okay, whatever, man. I mean, I wouldn't mind, right? Like, cat girls are hot, right? But, uh... Huh, 10,000 gil. How about that? Are we still in Boneyard Gully? Can we, like... Can we just, like, enter a fight? Or something? Do we have to... Do we have to leave? Can we, uh... Can we target the thing? I would like to do the thing I actually came here to do. Oh, I, sh I didn't even switch back into my... <laughs> Amazing. Okay, I guess we'll see where that spit us out then. Oh look, we broke the clear time record for a fight that no one really does. Oh, who would have thunk it? Yeah, I'll have to look that quest up now. But uh, more or less, I was coming here to do the item level tracker fight actually. Before, you know, I was like, oh, this is a... Uh, you know, thing or whatever, but we originally got this letter from Shikari X from Despachier, 
which if you remember right, that's like Almia's adoptive father or grandfather from uh, Tabnasian Safe Holt. Oh god, excuse me. Okay, Shikari Y is a Dark Knight slash monk. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay. Oh, there's a quest after this one. Oh. oh, okay, so we have a whole side quest chain going. How about that? Okay. Nifty, nifty. Turns out me getting drunk and wanting to emulate apathetic AJ, uh... Was the right play tonight? How about that? Uh, although I, I don't know. Do you s consider yourself drunk if you're only buzzed, right? Like if you're buzzed, you're getting all the positive effects of alcohol, right? Like you're having a great time. You're full of energy. You're full of pep. You know, you like your cheese whiz crackers taste way fucking better, you know, you're, uh, you know, like, if you're making eyes with the honey, you know, she's probably making eyes with you, and you're feeling all confident, you can go up to her and be like, hey, honey, and make kissy faces at her and not feel like a retard, right? And your inhibitions, you know, they're, they're, they're all they're all the way the fuck gone, right? There's smoke. There's smoke in the wind. And, uh, you know, you just feel great. And, obviously, that, that is an altered state of mind. But, you know, your performance isn't really down. It's a bit wild. It's a bit uncontrolled. But you're not... You know, you're not unaware, right? Like, you you probably become aware that you are about to get wild, and you probably, from the lowered inhibitions, you you embrace that wildness, right? Like, you say, "Yeah, I'm I'm about to do things I'm gonna regret," and you feel like it's stupid, right? I'm not saying it's not stupid, but you know, you feel great, and you feel so great, you feel euphoric, like you're just gonna do it. And, like, that can put you in danger, I guess, in, in ways. But, you know, you're not, like, just so, you know, gone that you're just unaware, right? Do you consider that drunk? Or do you consider that tipsy or buzzed? Like, because for me, I consider drunk, like, where you're slurring your speech. And, like, you're starting to develop a headache. And, like, you know when you down your next drink that it's not really going to make you feel any more relaxed. If anything, it might make you, like, pass out. Another leather, huh? Secret admirer. Oh, uh, a letter from Shikari. Why? Oh! Who would have thunk it? Uh, you know what? Going past these uh, allied ribbons, we should go do campaign battle. That should be a set of videos. Challenge you to a duel and blow in your gully. Not afraid of me, are you, sugar plum? Shikari, why? Mm. But yeah, uh, just. Brain, please. You know, do you, you know, what, what do you consider drunk, viewer? Do you consider drunk, you know, tipsy and buzzed and drunk the same thing? Or do you consider them separate? You know, are you a teetotaler? Are you judging me right now? I mean, if you're judging me right now, I don't, I don't mind, right? Like, it's not like, if I didn't want to be judged by someone else, right? I wouldn't like sit myself out in public like this. Because even though, you know, my channel is a small nobody channel. 
uh, full of content that better YouTubers call non-content that they hate, that they wish wasn't on the platform at all, even though it's part of what made the platform great in the original days. Um, you know. I don't have to do this at all, right? Like, it's, it's just a hobby to me. Uh, it's a hobby I wish I could get paid for, right? Like, everyone wishes they could just do what they like and get paid for it. Because uh, that would be ideal. But obviously, not everything actually requires skill. Uh, you know, and then even things that require skill, like playing a video game, right? It, it only adds as much to society as people perceive that it does. And that's generally why younger people, you know, fund streamers. And when I say younger people, I mean people like 50 and under, right? And I say 50 and under because people 50, people who are 50 right now were born in 1974. And that means they were 12 in 1986, which means they were a teenager. They were 18 in 1992. And, you know, like, that means they were a teenager right when the Super Nintendo was getting big. And just like, you know. They value video games if they were into it back then. Right, if you go watch, like, uh, I think it's Happy, the Happy Gamer. I think that's what his name is. He's like this blonde guy, he's older glasses he's got a video about being addicted to 11 oh okay so wait she's got dialogue uh, so you've come you're the first to accept my invitation without any further encouragement no one in my homeland wants to fight me anymore even though I promise not to hurt them too much but you aren't afraid of me are you sweet cakes even when I threaten to tear you into pieces Oh, they can't hurt us. If we crush the adventure that defeated Promathia, the myth of trackers will be number one. Oh, these these Mithras are like the inspiration for stuff like Xenos. No, I'm just kidding. Wait, Shikari Z's here. Oh snap! I'm getting hot and bothered now. Many eyes keep a watch on the actions of the Mithran trackers. Even while traveling in distant lands, word of the makeshift trials you hold here reached my ears. The reasons we lost to this adventure was simple. Justice. We were given a sense of justice by our roles as Sin Hunters, but this, his sense of justice was stronger. Shikari, why there is no justice in what you propose. Your actions here threaten all that you stand for. Aye. But calm wind, your presence in this place shows your willingness to grow. I join with my sisters and challenge you to battle once more. Not a battle to the death, it means to strengthen our skills. Sis, we get to fight together again? <laughs> as long as there's fighting involved, you can count me in, sweet pea. Let's begin. In the name of justice, submit yourself to this trial. Aw, oh, look at Chicory Z being the leader of the group, trying to give things a higher meaning. What a Stacy. I would wreck her. I would, I would. But since they're only level 75, we can probably just get away with, like, murdering the shit out of them with an AoE spell. Now, we still have uh, Searing Tempest set, so we can probably just burn them alive. Hey, baby. Oh, you're two houring around. Yeah. Oh, right. That's your call, Wervin. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, goodbye. You lovely ladies. Oh, there's a coffer. How about that? And of course, that would be the true level 75 version of the Mithril, Mithrin trackers. Oh, look, we got X's knife. I always wanted that back in the day, but uh, People never wanted to do this because they judged it to be too hard slash not worthwhile. I'll be here whenever you need us, Calm Wind. 
but we also have much room to grow. Aw. Mithrim trackers want to be calm winds, calm dumpsters. I mean, uh, training partners. Yeah, each of these, uh, there's uh, three different weapons. There's a spear, a scythe, and a knife. And the knife, which you're about to see in my inventory, um, it is for thieves and beastmasters only. Wait, what? I thought it was... Huh. Okay, I don't know why I wanted this back in the day then, because if it's only for thief and beastmaster, that makes no fucking sense. But it increases critical hit damage. And this is the first item in the game, if I'm remembering correctly, that actually has that property. And it's a 10% critical hit damage increase. And it works on all critical hits, right? So for Thief, that's phenomenal because it's basically a plus 10% critical hit or plus 10% damage increase on any attack you enhance with trick attack or sneak attack and uh, obviously I don't think it has any use in item level era but this is like one of those like dream weapons to get for a thief but like I said no one actually wanted to do this fight anymore because everything else that comes from it has like no purpose uh, there's also, you can get Z's Trident and Y's Scythe. And Y's Scythe uh, is an interesting scythe. It's Dark Knight only, 92 damage, level 72. Uh, HP minus 5%, so you lose total HP for wielding it. That was a weird idea they had of a lot of Dark Knight weapons for some reason. And 5 accuracy, so it doesn't look like anything to write home about. But it has a hidden effect. And the hidden effect is that it has the same effect as a dark staff. Which means it gives the dark affinity to uh, spells. I mean, you get uh, plus 10%, you know, dark magic potency. Uh, you get 20 mag magic accuracy on dark spells. And then if you were to, for some reason, some sub summoner, your perpetuation cost on Fenrir, Diabolos, and the Dark Spirit would be too lower than normal. Z's Trident, uh, it's a 87 damage Trident, level 72, Dragoon only, latent effect strength plus 12, but I don't know, um, like, BG Wiki doesn't have anything about it, so maybe the old Wiki does? I'd assume the latent is something stupid like have to have your Worven out or something. Which honestly, that wouldn't be too stupid, but uh, latent effect. It is rumored to activate only during weapon. <laughs> it is rumored? Okay, now I want to get it to try to figure out what the fuck the latent is. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, you gotta love this game. Like. It's one of the only games in existence where there's just so much information about it that it's just completely lost to time, but also wasn't even known during the times that it was current. Like, what the fuck, man? Rumored. Rumor has it that fucking Z's trident. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. But we're going to fight the, the Mithrin Sin Trackers one more time. And we're going to fight them at high tier battlefield levels. So we might actually get our ass whooped. And if we do get our ass whooped, we deserve it for wearing this stupid helmet the entire time. Oh, man. Yeah, you're guaranteed to get one crafting item, which is that Cassia Lumber. But you could also get Kajusu Satin or El Toro Leather, which I don't know what any of it's used in. But it was Chains of Hermathia high-level crafting materials. And uh, they're probably still used in something today, but I don't, I don't fucking know what.
but you know as described right like there's almost no reason to do this fight like dark knight and dragoon both had better weapons that come from other places uh guaranteed that you know way easier to get and beastmaster obviously doesn't use daggers really that much so i don't know like the only reason this is thief slash beast is that's the job that shikari x is kind of even though she's actually ninja slash beast i don't fucking know but uh you know you, you would think that uh you would think that you know you'd, you'd be able to i don't know i don't know well, let's see since we're fighting a group now um, I don't think Embalming Earth is the way to go. Uh, I don't think Corrosive Booze is the way to go. So we can just grab some other stuff. I think we want to keep Occultation because we could use some defensive uh, things. But let's see. That could be useful, maybe. The Tenable Crush could also be useful. Uh... I don't really know what they do. I should probably look up the fight. Let's see, this is petrification, which is crowd control. Um, but this is defense down, which is like will kill them faster. But we probably do need some f form of crowd control. So I don't know. Let me let me look this up here. Uh, it's called headwind. Let's see, testimonials. I downed it with Monk slash Warrior, Geo slash White Mage, August, Arciella, Ignis, and Apururu. Geo used Indie Barrier and in Entrusted Indie Haste on the Monk and casted a Blaze of Glory Geo Frailty. Pulled them by casting Sleep 2 on the Rabbit. Monk used Perfect Counter, Mantra, Impetus, Engaged, and Killed in the Order of XYZ. Never got below a thousand HP. Slept Wyvern after Y spawned it. Kept both pets slept throughout fight. They do not need to be beaten to clear it. That was January 2022. Solo as a master level 36 red mage slash black mage. Standard buffs. Any end spell. Pull and wait for Wyvern. Stymie. Elemental sleep. Elemental seal sleep with two to start out. Pick one of them and watch out for counters on M's on Mrs. Scythe so probably do her last silence the rabbit somewhere it may wake up and break uh, repeat until dead easy title that was in December of 2023 so that was actually very recently a very recent very difficult testimonial duoed difficult as Okay. Uh, uh. I don't know what we're doing, but let's just go ahead and set Dream Flower. It sounds like crowd control could be quite useful. Um, let's set that for no fucking reason. And maybe having a second sleep could help. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Or die trying. We'll just do it on... We'll, we'll give it a shot on normal. I, uh... Since I don't really know... Apparently the rabbit can cast break -a. Yeah. I'll just go give it a try. Uh, I wonder what the... Very difficult title is. Sin Purger. Okay, that's not a very interesting title, if you ask me, but. Eh. Oh, scrap, Archangel Elven. Okay, Archangel Elven, and then. Eh. Let's try RCL2. I don't I don't fucking know. Uh, 
I think she does debuffs as well as nukes. Um, I don't really remember fully. And, um. Fuck it, we'll go for a DPS trust. That makes no sense. Get ourselves killed, it'll be awesome. Okay, so we want to get closer because um, I don't think they aggro until like you can actually at least see them. And interesting fact about this, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it way earlier in the Let's Play, but back in the day I did the um, the Chancellor for Mathia version of this fight and the story mission when it was level capped still. And before they had taken away um, EXP penalty. And it was me and a group I had shouted for that was a quite atypical, like, imperfect setup. And this is one of those fights that always had the rumor around it where, like, oh, just bring six summoners and do Astral Flow and kill them all. Um, and I just didn't, uh... I didn't have patience for that, so I, I grabbed, like, a like a Dark Knight, myself on Warrior, uh, a black mage, a white mage, uh, a ranger. And basically we just kind of like, we used re-raise items and we pulled them and like we perfected our strategy. We died like 19 times. Uh, not in the same attempt obviously, but we just kept trying. Let's just go ahead and beat on Z first so that she summons her Wyvern, I guess. And then we will try to, I guess, sleep her or something. Okay, so she got a Wyvern out. Let's go ahead and cast Dreamflower. So we got the rabbit and the wyvern asleep, but the sisters all ignore that shit. Oh, but X and Mill's AoE, and I'm stupid. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You gotta love it. I guess maybe Elemental Seal stymies with the two from that. Red Mage, like that's why he said do that. Oh Jesus, are they fucking killing me? Yeah, these are actually some of my like most memorable and favorite characters, especially Sushu Z. I just found her to be really cool. Just like, I still love her as a trust as well. I kind of wish we could get the other ones as trusts. Okay, so they said watch out for counters, then hopefully 
Archangel Elven who would take hate on her. We can just hit her from behind and not worry about this. Man, she's gonna TP fast. Look at all that TP she's getting. So wait, is it... So wait, what they... They drop? the drops like independently like what in the world <laughs> okay but the drop i want from this fight is actually um it's a salade it's the back here salade and it's a helmet that is usable by all the heavy damage dealers, the heavy armor wearing ones. Well, actually, it's Warrior, Paladin, and Dark Knight exclusive. And the reason I want it is it has regen plus two, but it's also an item level piece. And it looks kind of cool. So, but the regen on it, you know, pl being plus two and being item level, that, that, like, I, I, Back in the 75 cap, there was a few pieces of gear that gave regen. There was like the Barone Carraza, or Carraza, and then there was the... Uh, I, uh, some other stuff, I'm sure. I don't fully remember. And... There was more and more as they raised the level cap. And about around the level 90 cap, I had a Barone Kariza, the Twilight Helmet from Shinryu from Abyssia, uh, a Pagu Roidia Ring, uh, I want to say a... Oh, there's this other ring that enhances the effects of Protector and Shell that you receive that also has one regen. And I think a Wiglin Gorget. And the Wiglin Gorget was like minus 6% physical damage taken, but plus 6% magical damage taken, but it also had regen. And I think its regen was 3 tick regen. But between that, the Twilight Helmet, the Burn Karaza, and the two rings, I had like a. I want to say it was like. 11 HP a tick regen. And when I was out soloing, like, farms and drops and things on my warrior with no other way to heal but resting and no trusts in existence, that meant a lot. It really sped up my downtime. And then ever since then, I've actually put a lot of stock and faith in regen and regen gear. And like, while I don't think it's going to be game-breaking by any stretch of the imagination, especially in the current climate of the game, uh, it's just something that I like. I want a region set, and I've got the Sacro Breastplate, and the Sacro Breastplate is plus 13 region, like so 13 attack already just from that. Um, I want to get a Chirik or Chirich ring uh, plus one at some point. That'll have two region but also be, you know, having a lot of accuracy and store TP. Uh, ideally, I guess, two of those, because they give region plus two. Um, although I was also thinking about the Pagoroia ring again, because that just has region plus two. And then, uh, you know, the, the Gorget as well. And, uh... I don't know, I think it'd be great. I think it'd be great. I, I think I could get probably up upwards of uh, 
If I could get the Slade and the Rings, I think I could get 20 regen from gear. And I think that would be very nice. I think it would be great. Anyway, we're, uh, we're at like over an hour now. And uh, if you wanted to stop watching, I wouldn't blame you. I'm not really going to go for very much longer here. Uh, I think I'm just going to do this fight one more time. And see if uh, any of these hot babes drop the item that we want. Uh, maybe we'll do a different kill order this time. I don't know. But, uh... It's something to do, alright. And we did technically... We did technically live up to that one request. We did some side quests. We, we technically completed two side quests in this video. So, uh... And that would be Tangle with a Tracker and Requiem of Sin. So... Hey! Hey, I'm delivering! Slowly but surely, I'm delivering. Uh, of course, it'd probably be smart to actually rest my MP up, right? Because <laughs> Blue Mage is fantastic, but I can't do anything without MP. That's actually why a lot of Blue Mages turn towards making the Tizona Mythic um, it has an additional effect on its auto attacks where it restores MP. And I don't think it's like, oh, excuse me, it's, uh, it's like 2.30 a.m., but, uh, and I'm drunk, and they, I think I'm starting to, uh, come, come off of the, uh, buzz, starting to get the, uh, depressant effect of alcohol. But, uh, fucking lose tr train of thought effect of alcohol. Uh, whenever I lose my train of thought, I feel like a failure. Because my next thought is, is like, oh, if I just scripted this, you know, if I just actually took the time to, to script every video and actually make, you know, edits and, and go ahead and, and just bite the bullet on the upload time, uh, you know, from the uh, encoding that's going to make the video bigger than it actually is. Uh... I don't know. Sometimes I think I have like an inferiority complex. Or perhaps a superiority complex. Or maybe they are the same thing or they are like play off of one another or something. Because like sometimes I feel like I'm smarter and better than everyone else around me. But other times I feel like I really am just like a dreg of society, and I have nothing valuable to add at all, and like, everything that I try to do in life, someone else is already doing better, like a hundred times better, and there's like no reason for me to be trying to do what I try to do. And, and th that's not even just with like this Let's Play, that's like with everything I do in life. Do you ever feel like that? I don't know. It's kind of a depressing, like, thought, right?
Let's get experimental and try it with a line roll. I haven't used him in a good bit, and uh, he's not. He's not that bad. He's really not. like this LP as like an example right like I've let's played other games I've, I've let's played plenty of other games I think I have like you know over 1200 videos on my YouTube channel and you know I know it's not high effort so of course you know people aren't gonna like watch but it's really crazy to me that like other people can start doing let's plays you know, apathetic AJ, but also other people. Like, there's like a few other Let's Players I've seen start up Let's Plays about 11. And they get like hundreds to thousands of views every video. They're not doing anything differently other than, you know, just who they are and like what jobs they play. And I guess what content they decide to do. And. You know, they, like, I don't know, it's just really disheartening. Like, what am I doing wrong? You know, just not get views, not get uh, comments. Yeah. This is probably the last thing of the night that I do on Blue Mage, so let's go ahead and get real fancy and, like, do some really in here. Crazy going down. No good drops from her. Sorry if I got a bit serious there, right? I'm the type of guy, you know, who's gone through serious, serious years long depression. And, uh, you know, it colored me. Even once it was over, even once I stopped being depressed, you know, like, for me, you know, there's like comfort in sad things and sorrowful things. But there's also just like, now, part of me can't not see it, right? But since these... Individually, since they drop items... Like, do their pets drop items? I guess we could find out if we just kill her bunny, right? Like, let's just kill her bunny and see if it drops something. Oh, you slut. King of Hearts! Stone up, baby! Oh, King of Hearts is the best. Fuck your old couch rabbit. Yeah, the rabbit did not drop anything, so... Clearly that's concrete evidence that we don't get anything... ...from these hot babes. Oh, are you serious? Oh, I goofed. I goofed. <laughs> Should not have killed her rabbit, because that made her use charm.
And the second we come on Charm, she's going to aggro us and we won't be able to just summon Trust again. Ugh, are we just going to have a one-on-one -on -one fight with Shikari X? We might be able to beat her. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. This is what I get for getting too laissez-faire as I spiral at the end of this video. Oh, okay, no, we're not going to be able to beat her. She's fucking strong as fuck. Well, of course, she didn't region all the way, so maybe, maybe there's a chance. But she got a rabbit back out. Oh, no. That means she won't charm us again. Our true power as a human age. Da -da -da -da. Oh, jeez, oh, really? Uh, I don't think we had any dots on her either. I screwed the pooch. Crazy. Crazy. We used like all of our skills earlier, and like we just didn't. <laughs> Whew. Crazy. That, that is my original, this is the true uh, 2000, early 2006 uh, Mithrin Sin Tracker feel. <laughs> uh, I can't, I can't end the video on a death. Uh, uh, that's, that's too depressing after what I was talking about. We'll have to, we'll have to go back and, and beat their asses. Uh, once more with feeling. Maybe actually finish the rest of this pump plum wine I poured myself. Ugh. Seriously, wonder what uh, gave us mastery rank four. World may never know. Man, a lot of people are playing hot elephants. Where were all you people back in the fucking early two thousands, man? crazy to me like no matter how sweet alcohol is there's always just a that bit of that burning sensation it really makes my mouth just like scrunchle up Once more with feeling, because, like, I just feel bad about losing, you know?
And I might have said it before, but you might have noticed this sword we've got Styrelocked. Uh, it's actually from the Dawn High Tier Battlefield. I just did that on a whim, like, the other day. And, and, uh, it just dropped. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, I'll get a new Styrelocked piece. And a slash ranged accuracy piece for Warrior, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> So, I'll still use Volineral, because our only, our only fucking error that we made last time was the fact that we, um, we killed the rabbit, and that letter charm was, so. this time we won't kill the rabbit. Time we will be smart. I guess I should fix my spell list. I learned Retinal Flare the other day while helping someone from the Mr. Happy Link Shell. Which is the only Link Shell I'm in nowadays, because, um... The other one I was in, Kitty Litter, like, I was literally helping someone with Cloud of Darkness from the, uh, Mr. Happy Link Shell, and this person that was also helping him was like, Hey, I thought Kitty Litter, like, broke apart last year. And I was like, oh, I didn't get the memo. And so I just... Just went ahead. And, uh, decided to just break that, drop that pearl. Like, okay, so, I guess from here on out, anytime we do this, we should kill X first, just to prevent our own stupidity from getting us killed when by her charming us. Kill me like outright because you're all three alive and my trust is paralyzed or petrified or whatever. Oh jeez, please heal me. Ah, oh, for the love of fuck! <sighs> Maybe I'm too drunk to be doing this. <laughs> Maybe if I had just gone ahead and slept her rabbit sooner. Or at all? I thought I slept it. Yeah, I slept it. But I slept it after it petrified, right? So. Okay, real for real, one more time. Win or lose, one more time. One more time, and then I'm gonna go look at Sharon Lee videos for her saying with her Vietnamese French accent, fuck me stronger. Mm. What a porn star. And if you're thinking TMI, man, or ew, porn. Well, 
I don't know how I didn't scare you away sooner. Yeah, if we actually manage to get this back here, so laid, though, one, it'll be a cool stock lock style piece, and two, uh, with just the Sakura breastplate uh, and it, that's actually the equivalent of a full time undispellable region two. And that's not like a maze of balls, but I think it's pretty good. And we can get it up to, like I said, with rings and necklace, we could probably get it up to about. 22 tick region and there's probably other gear out there somewhere that I haven't seen or found yet that probably has more region and I want to say that it's probably possible to get at least plus 25 region from gear on certain jobs I don't know for sure but I want to believe Definition of insanity, baby. Definition of insanity. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ah. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Now, Joey Chim actually might not be a bad idea, because he has access to Elegy. And that's a form of slow, and that would actually probably be a decent thing to do to these chicks. Since I'm pretty sure they're susceptible to it. Ah, uh, we're not going to have the fusion. Ooh, disgusting. That's okay, though. We can still get... Mighty Guard on Calm Wind, what matters on most. I put two sleeps on, I don't even use both of them. I am retarded. God, excuse me. I'm sorry. Okay, I refuse to believe that I can't just kill X first. Are slept. Fuck off. bitches. Alright, 
I woke stuff up. But I still had um, convergence on. You are Tambu log? What the fuck is that? Show a full hate? What the fuck? Okay. I mean. I don't look a gift uh, horse in the mouth. I mean, if. Once his songs are up, you know. It kind of doesn't matter if he dies. You know, for like two minutes. Or so. Oh, look, we interrupted our casting with the. Uh, oh, shit. Please don't kill me. Do not kill me. Stop still chaining, you bitches. What are you, real players or something? Okay. When that DM or okay, she really had she really had the whole kit and caboodle. Video's gone on way longer than I thought it would. Ow! Fourteen hundred damage wheeling thrust? Are you fucking serious? Holy fuck! of my pain. Oh, No back here, so late. Oh well. Anyway. This video's gone on long enough. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe. And have a great day. And I'll see you again next time.